In this video, we're going to learn how to convert a Riemann sum to a definite integral. So let's take the Riemann sum, limit of, as n approaches infinity, sum as k goes from 1 to n of 1 plus 2k over n squared plus 1 times 2 over n. If you want it to be a definite integral in the end, it would look something like integral from a to b of f of x dx. Now, how do we get this to look something like this? Well, in general, limit as n approaches infinity of a sum as k goes from 1 to n of f of a plus k delta x times delta x equals integral from a to b of f of x dx. Notice that this entire quantity a plus k delta x is replaced with the x and then the delta x is the equivalent of dx basically. Do we have something in the original problem that looks like a plus k delta x. Well, we have 1 plus 2k over n. So, a plus k delta x equals 1 plus 2k over n. To make sure that we have the delta x, notice that delta x is being multiplied by this entire qu quantity of f. So if we look on the outside of this bracket, we see we have 2 over n. And we have 2 times k over n. So that means we can also write that as 2 over n times k. So if this was delta x, delta x is being multiplied by k over here. So, so we can say that delta x is equal to 2 over n. So that means we have a plus k delta x and then delta x is equal to 2 over n. Now, if we want to replace this entire quantity with x, we notice that this entire quantity is inside a parenthesis. So that means since this was raised to the second power and the integral x would be raised to the second power and the plus one that's inside the bracket that the, the delta x is being multiplied by the plus one just stays and then this delta x just becomes dx now if you look over here the integral starts from a and our a value here if this is k delta x our a value is equal to the one so the integral starts from one to b. Now we don't know what b is yet, but we know delta x is equal to 2 over n. We also know that delta x is equal to b minus a over n. So if we said the two delta x is equal to each other, we get 2 over n equals b minus a over n. Now since the denominators are the same, for these to be the equal, the numerators must be the same. So that means 2 equals b minus, and we determined that a is 1, so b minus 1, and to isolate b we add 1 to each side, and b is equal to 3. So the integral goes from 1 to 3 of x squared plus 1 dx. Now, that is the final answer. That is the definite integral equivalent of this Riemann sum. Hope that clarified any questions for those of you looking to convert Riemann, Riemann sums to definite integrals. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. If you haven't already, subscribe and share the video with anyone that might find it helpful. And I'll see you guys next time.